Welcome back to another season of Jeopardy. I'm your host, Gavin McCabe, and this is Elizabethtown College's favorite, totally not based off of anything else, game show. Joined with me today is the other members of the History Club cabinet, starting with Jack Lager to my left, Eric Schubert, and finally, Abby Scholes. Now, Jack, you've come here because of your love of history, but also because of your attachment to the History Club. I want to know, what is your favorite thing about history? I'd have to say my favorite thing about history would be the medieval era. Why the medieval era? Uh, I don't know. Ever since I grew well, as a kid, you know, and seeing swords and armor, it was always something that was just, it was fascinating. It is fascinating. It is fantastic. Well, hopefully there's a category for you later on. And now, Eric, something tells me that you're quite the celebrity. Now, <laughs> tell me, how do you feel representing History Club today? It's always great to represent History Club. Love Elizabethtown College History Club, best club on campus. We're very excited to be here today. Fantastic. Very wise words. And Abby, what do you have to say to close out? Do you think you're going to beat these two? How do you, how do you think you're going to rank up against the competition? Oh, I'm absolutely not going to win. But you know <laughs> what? I'm just here for some fun. Well, that's the spirit that we're all looking for today. Now, let's take a look at the categories. First up, we have treaties and tribulations. Next, U.S. presidents and where to find them. Followed by sharp and shiny, then Ave Caesar, and lastly, former flags. Mr. Lager, you're up first. You have the board. Uh, I'll take former flags for 100. Former flags for 100. The category is this flag. Eric. I'm going to regret this. What is the Weimar Republic? Let's take a look. Sorry, the answer was, what is East Germany? Uh, Jack, you still have the board. Uh, former flags for 200. Former flags for 200. Name this country. I'm sorry, that's time. The answer is, what is the British Raj? All right, we'll mix it up. Uh, Ave Caesar for 100. Ave Caesar for 100. Julius Caesar's last line in Shakespeare's Julius Caesar. Yes, Jack. What is E2 Brute? Let's take a look. That is correct. Et tu Brute. Uh, that gives you 100 points. Do the board. Uh, Ave Caesar for 200. 200. Let's see it. This idiom for passing the point of no return is a reference to the inciting incident of the Roman Civil War. Yes, Abby. Crossing the Rubicon. Let's see it. What is crossing the Rubicon? Abby, you have the board. Let's go for U.S. Presidents for 100. U.S. Presidents for 100. This is the only president that can be found in the Wrestling Hall of Fame. Yes, Eric. Who's Gerald Ford? Gerald Ford is incorrect. I'm sorry, the answer is, who's Abraham Lincoln? Yeah. Okay, Abby, you have the board. Um, let's do Sharp and Shiny for 100. Let's do it. Since its invention, most blades have been made from this. Yes, Abby. What is steel? Let's see that answer. Correct. What is steel? Abby, if you're looking to steal the show, you have the board. Okay. Uh, treaties and tribulations for 100. We'll treaties and tribulations. This treaty concluded the Great War. Yes, Eric. Treaty of Versailles. Treaty of Versailles. That would be correct. You have the board, Eric. Let's do U.S. presidents more to find them. 200. 200. This president was formerly found stuck in the White House bathtub. Who is William Howard Taft? Yes, correct. Eric, who is William Howard Taft? You have the board. Let's do U.S. presidents more to find them. 300. 300. The only president other than Taft to be buried in Arlington. Eric. Who is JFK? Let's see it. JFK is correct. Next. U.S. presidents more to find them. 500. 500. Going for the win. This president can be found on the $2 bill. The $2 bill. Yes, Who sir. is Thomas Jefferson? That would be correct. Who is Thomas Jefferson? Jack, give it a uh, Let's go treaties and tribulations for 300. Treaties and tribulations for 300. In 1887, the United States concluded a treaty to purchase this modern state from Russia. Is there? What is Alaska? Let's see it. Please wait to hit the buzzer after I think that it's speaking. Eric, you have the board. I got a jump on it. Let's do U.S. presidents and where to find them. 400. 400. Finish out that category. 
the only president that was never found on a ballot for president or vice president. Yes, sir. I mean, Jack. Who is Gerald Ford? Gerald Ford, correct. You have the four. Uh, let's go former flags for 400. 400. Name this country. That's time. I'm sorry. The answer, what is South Vietnam? What is South Vietnam? You sold the board. Uh, Ave Caesar for 300. 300. The first of Julius Caesar's conquests. Yes, Abby. What is Gaul? What is Gaul? The conquest of Gaul is correct. You have the board. Um, let's do sharp and shiny 200. Sharp and shiny. Let's see it. This Olympic sport modeled after sword play. Yes. Yeah. What is fencing? Fencing is correct. You have the board. Sharp and shiny for 300. 300. The CX is the basis for the name of this Germanic tribe. The CX is the basis for the name of this Germanic tribe. That's time. I'm sorry. The answer is, what are the Saxons? The Saxons. You still the board. Sharp and shiny, 400. 400, going big. The British Army incorrectly called this sword a claymore, an anglicization of the Gaelic word for sword. That's time. Sorry, the answer is, what is a broadsword or a basket hilted sword? A broad sword. Let's finish that category. Finish that category out, 500, sharp and shiny. In order to skirt sword bands around the 15th century in German states, some peasants opted to carry these instead. That's time. I apologize, but the answer is what is a messer? Um, you still have the captain. Uh, former flags, 300. 300. Let's see it. Name? Sorry, that's time. The answer? What is Yugoslavia? What is Yugoslavia? All right, Jack. What's next? Former flags, 500. 500. Finish out that category. Name this final country. That's time. The answer? What is Chechnya? Awesome. Let's pick another category. Ave Caesar, 400. Ave Caesar for 400. Julius Caesar's first name. Yes. What is Gaius? Gaius would be correct in this instance. You have the board. Uh, let's finish the category. Finish it out. The amount of silver Julius Caesar insisted he be ransomed for when he was captured by pirates. Famous incident. That's time. I apologize, but the answer, 50 talents or 50 coins. Abby, you have the coins. Um, treaties for 200. Treaties for 200. The Thirty Years' War was ended with this 1648 treaty. Yes. What is Peace of Westphalia? Let's see it. The Peace of Westphalia is correct. Abby, next. Uh, treaties for 400. 400. Despite the signature of the Treaty of Ghent being signed two weeks prior, this was the final battle of the War of 1812. That's time. The answer? What is the Battle of New Orleans? All right. And the final category on the board? The Emperor of Japan surrendered to the United States on this American battleship. Yes, Eric. What is the USS Missouri? Ooh, let's see it. Correct, USS Missouri. And I believe that concludes our board. So let's take a look at the scores. Jack, you're in the lead with 1,500 points. 
Um, Abby falling closely behind with 1,300 points, and Eric dead last with 500 points. So. Um, does Connor want to, sorry, does Con do Connor, do you want a, a commercial? Do some banter? Okay. Abby, how do you not know all of these? Eric. How do it, we was, feel? it was the last Answers. one. It was, it was only the last one. How do we feel? You feel category? great. Uh, I'm just glad that Gerald Ford got some recognition. Yes, you did. Uh -huh. I did not know any of the flags. You didn't know the flags. Did, did, did anybody get a flag? Oh, that's okay. We, we're the uh, we history club. That's the flag history club. club. Not the flag club. You're doing a great job. All we'll, right, we'll, Jack. We'll you're in the you're in the lead. Yeah. Tell me what's going through your mind. What's racing through your thoughts? Um. Nothing. Nothing? Nothing. Pure emptiness in yeah. this man's mind. He's completely focused. He's driven. On. Are you He's ready, driven. Jack? I'm ready. That's how you have to have that empty brain mindset. I can see that you didn't exactly attain all the points that you would have wanted in the category that was aimed for you, the medieval sword life. How do you feel about that? I feel very sad. Very sad. Very sad. I think I'll go cry. Okay. Well, are you going to have an argument with Abby? Well, yeah. Wait, we could just get out. We'll Abby, I know, Abby, I know that you were sweeping treaties and tribulations. I, I tried. The Treaty of Westphalia, boom. Oh, yeah. I don't even, I don't think any of us could have gotten that. Let's just talk about Jackson Lager running the board. Like, <laughs> yeah, the entire what was time? up with that? Yeah. What was this about? Abby yeah. and I are just sitting here. <laughs> hey, I got it in the end. Though. All right. You just kind of. Well, let's reviewed. see if that happens next time. We're going to go to our next round of JPD, round two. In fact, this is where every category is worth double the points. But before we get to the next round, let's head to a break. Welcome back to Jeopardy. I'm your host, Gavin McCabe. And we're about to get into the next board. So, let's take a look at the scores one more time. First up, we have Jack with 1,500 points, Eric with 500, and Abby with 1,300, leading close behind Jack. All right, guys, this is gonna be a tough match, and let's see who ends up as king of the hill. All right. Over to the categories. First up, oops, all books. Next, royal relatives, followed by cradles of civilization, down with the ship, and lastly, quotable. Jack, you have the most points, so you're in the lead and you get the board first. All right, let's go with quotable for 200. Quotable for 200. The die is cast. Said this book. I'm sorry, that's time. The answer? Who is Julius Caesar? Jack, you still have four. All right, uh, quotable for 400. Quotable for four. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Eric. It was John Fitzgerald Kennedy. John Fitzgerald Kennedy would be correct. Eric, you have the board. Let's do quotable 600. Gavin? 600. Early to bed, early to rise, makes a man healthy, wealthy, and wise. Yes, Eric. It was Benjamin Franklin. Benjamin Franklin is correct. Eric, you have the board. Let's do quotable 800. Quotable for 800. <laughs> Never was so much owed by so many to so few. Yes, Jack. Who is President Roosevelt? Let's see it. Who is Winston Churchill? Ooh. Sorry, it's a lot of points you've lost. However, uh, Eric, you're in the lead. Oh, okay. Well, no, you're on the lead, but you have the board. <laughs> okay, that makes more sense. Quotable for a thousand. For a thousand. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. That's time. The answer, Paul Bremer. Eric? Let's do royal relatives for 200. 200. It is estimated that as many as one in every 200 men is a direct descendant of this emperor. Yes. Who is Genghis Khan? Genghis Khan is correct. You have the board. Uh, royal relatives, a thousand. Royal relatives, a thousand. <laughs> this disorder common amongst European royalty as a result of generations of inbreeding. Yes. What is hemophilia? I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Uh, the answer, uh, what is the Habsburg jaw? We want to also take the Habsburg lip. However, you still have the Uh, Royal Relatives, 800. 800, going down a little. 
The Mandate of Heaven was a political theory that provided legitimacy to dynasties in this country. Yes, Abby. Where is China? Where is China is correct. You have the board. Um, cradles of civilization. Cradles for 200. Mesopotamia sprung up in the valley between these two rivers. Yes, Abby. What is Tigris and Euphrates? The Tigris and the Euphrates would be correct. You have the board. Uh, cradles for four. For four. The wonder of the ancient world was made by the Egyptian civilization. Yes, Jack. What is the Great Pyramid? The Great Pyramids of Giza are correct. You have the board. Uh, let's go down with the ship for 200. Down with the ship for 200. The region of the Atlantic Ocean known for naval disappearances. Yes, Jack. What is the Bermuda Triangle? The Bermuda Triangle is absolutely correct. You have four. Uh, down with the ship, 400. 400, let's see it. The ship that Gordon Lightfoot wrote a song about. Ship sinking, uh, to be more correct. That's everything in this category, by the way. Sorry, that's time. The answer is the USS Edmund Fitzgerald. The song is titled The Wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. Jack, you still have four. Uh, down with the ship, 600. Down with the ship for six. The wreck of this passenger liner was discovered in 1985. Yes. What is the RMS Titanic? The RMS Titanic is correct. Eric, you have the board. Uh, Royal Relatives, 400. Royal Relatives for four. Elizabeth II was known for keeping a lineage of this dog breed. Yes. What are corgis? Corgis would be correct. You have the board, sir. Uh, finish it out. Royal relatives for six. Finish out this category. Prince George V, Kaiser Wilhelm II, and Tsar Nicholas II were all descendants of this British monarch. That's time. I'm sorry. The answer? Who is Queen Victoria? Queen Victoria. Like great grandmother or something. Eric, you have the board. Uh, let's see. Down with the ship for 800. Let's see it. Down with the ship for 800. The USS Indianapolis was referenced in this Spielberg film. That's time. I'm sorry. The answer? What is Jaws? What is Jaws? All right, Eric. Uh, let's do down with the ship for a thousand. Down with the ship for a thousand. Hopefully we don't go down with the ship. This Archimedes invention was known for destroying Roman ships. Yes, Jack. What is Greek fire? I'm sorry, the answer is what is the Archimedes death ray? Greek fire was another invention. Um, maybe also attributed to Archimedes. We're not really sure. However, Eric, you still have the board, sir. Let's do Oops All Books for 200. Oops All Books for 200. A hanging green light is the most common symbol in this novel. Yes, Abby. What is The Great Gatsby? The Great Gatsby is correct. You have the board. Uh, let's do All Books for Four. All Books for Four. The account of Henry David Thoreau's time spent living in the woods. That's time. I'm sorry. The answer is, but it's Walden, on Walden Pond. Um, Abby, you have the board. Uh, cradles for six. Cradles for six. This early river valley civilization invented the working toilet. I'm sorry. That's time. The answer. What is the Indus Valley civilization? You have Cradles for eight. Cradles for eight. The Olmec civilization of Mexico is known for these pieces of art. That's time. The answer? What are Olmec heads? Olmec heads. Abby, it's your choice. Cradles for a thousand. Cradles for a thousand. The Yellow River Valley was home to this first Chinese dynasty. Time's up. The answer? What is the Shang Dynasty? The Shang Dynasty. Abby, which would you like? All books for six. Oops, all books for six. This Edgar Allan Poe regarding the unbearable weight of guilt. 
Yes. What is the telltale heart? The telltale heart is correct. Abby, you have the board. All books for eight. Oops, all books for eight. <laughs> this author survived two plane crashes on consecutive days. Yes, Eric. Who is Ernest Hemingway? Let's see it. Ernest Hemingway is correct. <laughs> all right, Eric. Finish it out. Oops, Finish all it books out. for a thousand. Oops, for a thousand. Steinbeck's fictionalized narrative of the Dust Bowl. Yes, Eric. What is of mice and men? Oh, I'm sorry. The answer is oh. what is the grapes of wrath? What is the grapes here. of wrath? All right. Well, that finishes out this category and this board. So uh, let's take a look at the scores, see where our contestants are doing. Jack has 300 points, um, is in dead last. It looks like you've went down with the ship. Yeah. <laughs> um, Eric, 1,600 points. You could still win this with final Jeopardy at the end. And Abby with 3,100 points cleanly in the lead. How do we feel? I feel great. Did we know this was going to happen? Absolutely not, but you know what? I'm here for it. Interesting, and, and boys, how we doing? I expected this. You can cry if you want, it's I, fine. I, I, I think we kind of do, but it's okay. I shouldn't answer that Steinbeck question. I no. knew mm -mm. it would have been a better playing field, but it's okay. We can let Abby win. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, if you, if you hadn't, you would have had 2,600 points. But sadly, Incredible. here we are. Well, we'll see you after this break for Final Jeopardy. Welcome to Final Jeopardy. Today's category is genealogy. Please look at your scores and place your wagers now. When you're finished, please look up at me. Thank you. Are we ready for the question? Today's final JP question is this. What famous U.S. Vice President am I descended from? What famous U.S. Vice President am I a descendant of? Please write your answers in the next few moments. are ready. So, uh, the question was, what famous U.S. Vice President am I descended from? And this is true. The answer, well, let's see what you wrote. Jack, let's see, what was your wager? $300, and your answer was Aaron Burr. That would be correct. All right, uh, Eric, and that put you at 600 Eric, let's see, uh, what did you wager? $900. $900, and your answer? Aaron Burr. Aaron Burr is correct. <laughs> Abby, your right. wager? $100. $100, and your answer? Sad face. <laughs> An unhappy face. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. The answer is Aaron Burr, the vice president to Thomas Jefferson. And uh, it looks like, let's see, let's see these scores. Mm -hmm. All right, Abby, you are in the lead with 3,000 points. That means you have now won Jeopardy. Wow. Thank you. You can clap louder. It's fine. Thank you. I'm out of here. I don't believe we have a prize today, but your prize is winning and having bragging rights. So this concludes the season two, episode one premiere of Jeopardy. Let's see you next month for episode two. With that, I'm your host, Gavin McCabe.